Hello and welcome to this video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. And this is the third time I've recorded this video because I'm using OBS, Open Broadcasting Studio, which is a great piece of software, but it's not what I normally use. But it has some good features for recording the output audio from my computer. Thing is, I have not gotten the volume levels proper yet, even though I did a little tests before I started recording. So I hope the audio is right because this is the last time I'm recording this. If you have headphones, get them. They're going to be great for this video, but I also apologize if I blow out your, your eardrums. Uh, we're going to be working with Sox today. Sox is a great program. That's S-O-X. It's probably installed on your Linux system. If not, it most definitely is in your repositories. It is a very common tool for manipulating audio. It can record, it can trim and split and splice and put together audio files, but it can also generate sounds, and that's what we are working on today. We're going to generate a bunch of different tones. As with most of my videos, in the description of this video, there is a link to the notes where every command I run today uh, will be in those links. So you can just copy and paste them to give them a try, but also try to follow along. But we are going to generate tones real time, but also save them to files. This is great if you want to create your own sound effects for a video game or just have real time sound effects in a bash script. This is a great way to do it. Let's go ahead and jump in, and I hope my audio is good this time. So go ahead, put your headphones on, and start listening. Okay, so we're here in the shell. Again, links in the description and I am going to use the play command. Well, first of all, if you need to install socks, use a package manager. If you're on a Debian-based system, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, so forth and so on, apt, uh, uh, sudo apt install socks, X, S, S O X. Once that is installed, it installs three programs. Uh, install socks, rec for recording, and then play for playing stuff. It can play audio files, but it can also generate things real time. For example, I can say here, play dash n synth five. Five means five seconds. In fact, I'm gonna shorten that up to two. For two seconds, we're playing a sine wave. You can type in S-I-N, but I think you can also put it, uh, type in S-I-N-E, but why type the E if you don't have to? And then we have, give it a frequency number. So we'll go ahead and play this. It will play a two second sine wave sound. And again, I hope, let me turn my headphones down. Hope that wasn't too loud for you. Uh, so again, that was for two seconds. We can do uh, one second. We can also do fractions of a second, so a tenth of a second. We can do a half of a second by doing 0.5. We can do a fifth of a second by doing 0.2. And of course, we can change that frequency. So we have 300. Let's, uh, let's just, for round numbers, we'll say 400. We'll say 500. We'll say... 600. Oh, that was 500 again. 600. So getting higher each time there. So you can set that number for what frequency you want. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a bash loop for start off here. We are going to generate some random tones. So let's look at this. I am using a for loop. And now everything we're doing right here, you could probably do in a uh, socks command. But I'm just using a for loop because a lot of my viewers are used to uh, bash scripts. So I hope this makes sense to you here. Also, I wanted to mention, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. If you ever look up how to do things with socks, the commands can get extremely long. And I'm hoping to simplify things for you here in this video. The, the reason the commands get long because you can string multiple commands together inside a socks or play command. We will look at that a little bit in this video and hopefully that will help you understand the longer, more complex commands in the future. But we're saying here, we're doing a bash for loop. We're looping from one to 10. So we're going to loop 10 times. Each time we're gonna use bash to generate a random number starting at 400 and going up 400 from that. So as my notes say here, we're generating a random number between 400 and 800. Then we're gonna say play that synth for a tenth of a second, 0.1. It's going to be a sine wave, and then we're going to play whatever tone we generated uh, up here uh, is the variable. So if I run that, it will play 10 times, playing a random uh, tone each time. And if I ran that again, you can see it played them differently because it's doing it randomly. Now, let's talk about left and right ears. So I can say this. I can say play dash n synth for a half a second, a sine wave. 347 and a sine wave of 357. If I play that, if you had headphones on, you would hear that there were two different tones, one in the left ear and then a slightly higher one in the right ear. Uh, let's go ahead and make that a little more drastic by putting a higher number in there. So here we're doing a half a second, 447 in the left ear and 857 in the right ear. So you would have heard that in your right ear, the tone was much, much higher. And of course, if we were to flip flop those numbers, the higher tone will be in the left ear. Okay, now we're playing two different tones, one in the left ear, one in the right ear, but if we were to add the remix command, so here we're saying, 
play a synth for a half a second, a sine wave at this frequency, and a sine wave at this frequency, which our last command would have played one out of one ear and one out of the other. Here we're saying remix and then dash. The dash is saying mix them all together. So we'll play those two tones, those two frequencies, in both ears mixed together. With the remix command, we're not going to get into it in this tutorial, but you could list a bunch of synths and say, okay, take one, uh, two, and three, and mix them in the left ear, and one, two, and three, four, and five, and mix them in the right ear, things along those lines. We are just going to say dash, and we'll mix both those tones. So it's playing both those frequencies, but mixed together in both ears. And again, to show a bit more drastic of a change, we will say 447 and 857, but we're mixing them together, playing them at the same time in both ears. Okay. Now, let's do another for loop here. We're going to do some random tones. So here, we're looping. And again, we're going to get some random tones, but we're going to play two tones, right? So we're going to get some random tones. We're going to generate a random tone, again, between 400 and 800 in the frequency here. And then we're going to add uh, 10 to one of those and then mix them together, right? And we're going to play each one for a fifth of a second, 10 times doing that. There we go. So we just mix things together. Again, I'm just giving you some examples here. Let's go ahead and move up in tones. Again, using a bash loop. I'm going to start at 400 and technically we're going to start at uh, 450 because we set a variable for 400, but then we loop and right away we're going to take our loop, our number here, which is going to be anywhere from 1 to 10. That was what I is. And so each time it's going to get higher, we're going to multiply that by 50. So the first time it will be 50, then 100, 150, 200. And we're going to take that and add that to our tone. So in this case, 400, so we'll start at 450, then 500, then 550. And then the second tone is actually going to be whatever that number is, plus 10. We're going to mix those together into both ears as a sine wave for a fifth of a second. We're going to do that 10 times. So there we go. We got higher and higher. Now, so far, we've worked with sine waves. Another popular wave shape is a square wave. Basically, anywhere we put SIN or sine, we can change that to square and now play a square wave. Watch your ears on here. Square waves are a little bit more harsh than a sine wave. Okay, so we played that frequency. And again, we can do the same thing as before. We can say a square uh, wave at this frequency, a square wave at this frequency, mix them both together, play them for a half a second. Okay, so now we have that. Let's go ahead and look at pitch changing. Uh, so we can actually, instead of just giving one frequency, we can say here, play a synth for one second, a sine wave, start a at a frequency of 200 and go up to 400. And of course we can reverse that. We can start at 400 and go down to 200. And of course the rapid, how rapid it does that is based on how long our sine wave or our synth wave is set to be. So two seconds would be longer. We can also go really short. So let's say you want to make a video game. You want to make a sound for jumping in the video game. Uh, let's actually probably be better if we went up for a jumping sound, right? 200, 400 at a tenth of a second. <laughs> right? So we just create a video game sound right there live in our shell. We can also, you know, mix the mix up, mix it up so we have different options here. So here we have one second sine wave, two to 400, sine wave four to 200. So if you had your headphones on, you would have heard in one ear, the left ear, it went from low to high, and in the right ear, it went from high to low. Let's hear that again. And of course, you could switch those, but we could also, again, use the remix command with the dash, and so now it will go low to high at the same time mixed together in both ears. Uh, with that, we can also set a delay uh, to go up in one ear, then down in the other. So what we're going to do in here, we're, we're going to say play a synth for one second. What is that? Well, we're going to play starting at 200 up to 400 and then 400 down to 200. Now, they would both play at the same time, but here we're going to say delay. The first one, this one here, give it a delay of zero so it plays right away. The second one is a delay of one second. So we'll wait one second and then play it, which just happens to be the same length as our synth itself. So it should go up and then down. Up in the left ear, down in the right ear. Hear that again? Of course, uh, if we were to change this, we could say uh, two seconds here. So it's going to play one tone going up in the left ear for one second. Then the second one won't start playing right away because it's going to have another second delay because we're saying two seconds. Waiting for the first one and then another second, two seconds. So, so we went up, we 
we had a second delay and then it came down. Of course, uh, saying no delay, you get that up and down and we can actually uh, mix these together. So an up and down in both ears. Now we can do that same command. Let me shrink this up a little bit so you can see better. We are going to run that same command where it goes up and down, but I'm gonna say repeat. And what am I gonna repeat? I'm gonna repeat five times. Okay, so that was 10 seconds long, right? So each, each one of these played for a second up and down. Now, if we were to do that, let's go ahead and up that number from five, we'll just say 20. And we will set our delays here to point second and we'll make our synth a point of a second. And this will give us a nice little UFO flying saucer sound. There we go, so we have a little flying saucer sound. Uh, a few things to note. So far, we've us just used the play command. If we were on the same exact commands, but give it socks instead and give it an output file name, we can save that to a file. So I'm going to run that. We didn't hear anything, but we've now created an output.wav file. I can use the play command to play that file. Great. Uh, we can also do longer commands. So here we have our socks command. This will give us our little UFO sound again to the output command. Now, out output wave. Note that it did not warn me that file already exists. Socks will automatically just generate a file. It will overwrite a file that's there. Be careful you don't overwrite a file that's important to you because right now we have our output wave file, but if I was to play that, it's our new UFO sound. I can hit control C to kill that, just like most applications. Here's a little bonus for you. We've done sine waves, we've done square waves. Uh, socks can play a bunch of different sounds, but it can also just make noise. This is gonna give us a static noise. Turn the volume down on your headphones right now if you want. It's going to be one st second of static. And of course, static is kind of high pitch, but there's also lower pitch static, also known as pink noise. So if we say pink noise, it's a lower pitch static. If you're unfamiliar with pink noise, pink noise is a common sound that uh, people might sleep through. You can buy sound machines to make it. You can also go on YouTube and find... Um, 10 or 20 hours of pink noise. Uh, there's also applications you can get for your phone that generate it, but you can generate it right yourself, right with your own little Linux machine here using socks. And you can say, play it for one second, 10 seconds, 100 seconds. Let me go like this. I don't know how long that is, but they'll probably play all night long while you're sleeping. You'll have some pink noise. Don't have to go out and buy anything or install a special app. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with the K. I cross my fingers and hope that this audio. Uh, recorded fine, even though it started pouring outside, you probably hear that in the audio, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, visit filmsbychris.com, that's Chris the K, and we have more on socks, at least, at least two more videos on socks, and then we're going to actually use it in some uh, scripts, so thanks for watching.